So Launch Tech, as I uh, started to explain, is an engineering company specialized on mechanical engineering, FEA modeling, and vertical application. We are partner of Dassault System. Dassault System is uh, an international company uh, distributing uh, software. So we have this distribution partnership with Dassault System uh, in the Middle East region. So we cover the complete Middle East region. Uh, means uh, means customer who would like to acquire this software to sell it, uh, to buy it, sorry, uh, they can go through uh, Launch Tech. We have also uh, other partnership levels with DASO system, uh, development and service partnership, uh, and one of the most important is the training and certification center. So we can deliver training and uh, certify people to use uh, the software. Very quickly, to introduce DASO system and the 3D experience uh, within DASO system. DASO system is a scientific company uh, it's an international company present in different countries, uh, more than 70, uh, 17,000 employees and tw 250 customers and 12,000 partners all, uh, around the world. The story of Dassault System started so early in 1981. Uh, it's a spin-off of a group of engineers uh, from Dassault Aviation, this French company who make uh, military airplanes. Uh, so the goal was to design or to create uh, software or a tool to design airplanes and quickly Dassault System became a big company and they addressed different industries. In 1989 uh, they succeeded to create a software to uh, model big assemblies and progressively they were enriched their software in order to make it more uh, relevant for different industry. In 1999 uh, they bring uh, the 3D uh, PLM, uh, so this tool is uh, to manage the complete product life cycle uh, of the uh, software. And recently, since a couple of years now, uh, they released uh, the 3D experience. The 3D experience is the new generation of design software, uh, okay, uh, of the design software where we can find uh, the design, the simulation, uh, the decision makers uh, yeah sorry I have not unlocked my screen uh, so where we can find the design the decision makers uh, also uh, the project managers and all uh, the uh, people attached to a specific project or to the company and also the partners they can connect to the same platform uh, which is the 3D experience. So it's a single uh, environment uh, where all the actors of the uh, company can connect and do a collaborative uh, work in order to design uh, or, uh, or manufacture uh, specific components. Okay. Now, uh, very quickly, uh, we go through the different software available uh, for the Sumulia brand of Dassault system. Uh, so the most famous software is uh, Abacus. Uh, it's uh, one of the best in class uh, simulation software to perform stress analysis, very famous in different industries. Uh, okay. Uh, but on top of this uh, software, Dassault system Sumulia, they also include uh, other uh, software, uh, we can see them here. iSight for um, parametric optimization, Otosca for topology optimization, FSA for durability and fatigue, Simpac for multibody, uh, EXA and XFlow for, uh, for CFD analysis. So as you can see, Simulia, this brand of simulation from DASO system, they provide uh, a list of software that, that can communicate between each other uh, in order to help people to design uh, in the right way their uh, products. So now I, we will go very quickly uh, through some uh, applications uh, in order to make clear what is the realistic simulation and how can this realistic simulation uh, bring a real added values for different industries. So Milan, please. Okay, thank you, I mean for the introduction. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Milad and uh, I'm a simulation engineer at uh, LaunchTech. 
and I will take you through a short journey on realistic simulations and explain to you why we do simulations and how do we do it and give some relevant examples to the industry within the region. So before we start why we choose realistic simulations, let's define what a realistic simulation is. Now a realistic simulation, as the name indicates, is that that's physically representative to the actual system in every way. A simulation is usually carried out to predict behavior and the response of a system or a structure. Now, what can a realistic simulation tell us? For example, looking at the left case, a uh, can crush simulation. It can tell us how can I improve my design? It will answer questions like, will my product leak? Will it break if I drop it from one meter, from two meters, from 10 meters, and so on? And the BMW, right hand side example or on the bottom left hand side example aircraft wing bird strike can tell us answers to questions like how long will my product last how can i make it last longer how will it perform if i use off spec and how can i make my product lighter without sacrificing performance is my product safe to operate will my product pass the required certification testing and if i can make my product cheaper will it still work or not so these are few questions a simulation can help us uh, answer. Now, there are many examples in many industries, across all industries, and we will give just key examples to demonstrate the added value and the key capabilities of uh, Simulia brand software. Now, let me give you some uh, real life examples to get a better understanding of samples of customer needs. Now, a realistic simulation a finite element is usually used to increase products quality by predicting properties and behaviors. An example from the automotive industry is the wire crimping process, where in order to achieve an efficient electrical contact, mechanical contact is a must. Abacus is used to simulate this process to find the best crimping speed, pressure, wires configurations, thickness, and so on and so forth. Eyesight, on the other hand, another software within the Simulia brand, can be coupled with Abacus. And since that's an optimization software, and Abacus being a finite element software, both of these together can give optimized finite element analysis results. And these parameters in this example, for example, can be like finding the best value or best, best configuration of wires in order to achieve the best mechanical contact of uh, crimped wires. Now, in the energy industry, uh, on the bottom left hand side, this is a pre-stressed concrete containment vessel, PCCD model, with a semi-infinite elastic foundation and a practical arrangement of uh, tendons. And it has been established to analyze the seismic ability of the PCCD structure and the seismic loads and internal pressure. Another example from the high-tech industry on the right side, uh, these components are usually subjected to thermal loadings and the fatigue thermal loadings to be specific, so cyclic. And the question is, will fatigue failure occur under cyclic thermal loading or not? And this is something you can answer using the simulations. There is one more example. You can click once. <clears throat> this is an example of a, from the aerospace industry where airplanes undergo very high loads while landing. And the question to answer is, will landing gears tolerate high stresses without damage during landing or not? Okay. So a realistic finite element analysis is also used to increase the performance and the product performance to be specific by predicting its behavior and optimizing it. When we say performance, we almost always perceive cars and machines and pipes and so on. However, performance can be improved for products as simple as a pill package, for example, a medicine, a pill medicine where it's stored inside a small uh, metal foil package. Now, did you ever think of when pills are packaged, how easy is it to push the pill out of the package? Too easy, it could be accidentally torn or too hard, you cannot get it out of the package easily. Now, this is uh, an example where simulation tools come handy to increase the performance of getting just the exact uh, the exact value of the, the thickness of the, this foil. Fluid bags, on the other hand, when dropped, will they fail or not? Simulation does not stop there. It extends its benefits to help users make decisions and choices regarding the material properties of the bags and the adequacy of the thickness required. 
Now on the right hand side, for example, is a toothpaste. Uh, it's a very simple product, yet to design it in a way that to, to make it prevent over dispensing or under dispensing, it requires a lot of engineering. Just to provide the right amount of right pressure and right amount dispensed, you will need to perform simulations. And lastly, on the high-tech industry, components need to be designed for optimum cooling. And it will be very difficult to test them experimentally, of course, to find the best optimum cooling value. Whereas in simulation with a single click, this can be easily found. Now next, uh, simulation is also used to investigate accidental situations. Again, accident expertise. Uh, on the aerospace industry on the left-hand side, this is an example of an engine that rotates at very high speeds. Now, what damage is going to be there if one of the blades deattached? What structure damage will we have? How long will we have before the engine completely fails? What consequences there? These are all questions that simulations can answer. On the example of the cell phone, now we all had experience of seeing our cellular phone falling to the ground, but how do you know how much, I mean, what's the, the height that your phone can tolerate before it breaks? On the energy industry, for example, the right hand side example, this is a piping structure and we commonly see vibration issues within those piping structures. And the question is what vibration levels are induced from the operation of these pipings? So given a pressure and temperature combination, what level is there and how severe is this, how, how severe is this vibration? How to mitigate it and how to prevent it? Uh, now some pipelines are also buried in the sea level. I'm looking at the right hand side bottom example. They're buried in the sea level. Now what stresses a question, for example, can be when, when an iceberg scours the seafloor, what stresses are developed in the buried pipes? Will they tolerate the iceberg or not? Moving on. So lastly, next one, I mean. We do simulations as well to understand the physics. Sometimes we, there is no physical phenomena that we want to specifically study, but what we want to do is understand how the system works. So for example, a crash test, where this is an example from BMW, and uh, sometimes it's not realistically done with all the correct parameters, but it's done just to understand how the system behaves, what's going to fail first, what are the areas of interest, can we eliminate some parts of the system to ease the simulation process. Another example is the contact between the tire and the road. And the question here is, uh, is contact between the tire and the road lost during the water buildup underneath the tire? These are very important questions for uh, tire manufacturers. On the life sciences example, uh, this is to study the effect of stress chain distribution inside the human soft tissue regions where there are different materials used for the chair wheel seat and uh, several studies are undertaken to optimize the patient comfort by looking at the stresses and the strains within the human soft tissue. Okay. A realistic simulation can also be used within the manufacturing industry. Uh, these are examples for, on the left hand side is an example for rolling metal forming process and on the right hand side right bottom side is a sheet metal forming process uh, the question is what tooling characteristics are necessary to obtain metal forming of course you can go and experiment those uh, tooling characteristics by iterating between different shapes and different parameters speed and so on but within simulation this can be done easily Another example within a glass uh, bottles factory is the prediction of line safety designed to carry bottles. How safe is this line, for example? Now we have seen these examples uh, that realistic simulation is covering a wide range of processes necessary to develop the products in all industries. But a common misconception is that the simulation is only used for design, but rather it's used through a complete product life cycle, starting from design to maintenance and fitness to decommissioning. Moving on, this is an example of a realistic simulation within the nuclear industry in an attempt to predict extreme catastrophic scenarios like an aircraft crash or a tsunami. The top animation is for a tsunami hitting a structure within the nuclear plant. And 
the stresses are predicted for the structure. And this tells the engineers and the designers whether the structure can tolerate such catastrophic uh, scenario. On the bottom is uh, an example of an aircraft crash into the structure. Now, of course, this is very extreme, but when dealing with nuclear power plant, this is uh, usually a big demand for designers. Uh, now, just to mention, for these uh, extreme cases, they're highly dynamic and high speed uh, simulations. So explicit solver within Abacus is used. General contact is also used for an easy contact definition within the models. Uh, advanced material definitions are also used in Abacus, and this is a capability where Abacus software really excels. Uh, Multi-CPUs utilization within the hardware of the computer are also utilized for very large models. This will make simulations run much, much faster. And multi-physics is incorporated within these models, so you can account for the thermal loads and structural loads and many other physics at the same time within the same simulation. Okay, good uh, transition, Milad. Thank you. Uh, now uh, I will go uh, very uh, quickly through uh, some uh, details into uh, Abacus FEA, which is the leading software from uh, Sumulia. Uh, as Milad mentioned, Abacus is uh, is uh, used in different industries. Okay, so so Abacus is used to perform realistic simulation for multiphysics. This is one of the main uh, success of of Abacus. Uh, so it can be used uh, in different industries uh, in order to model complex material contact failure. Uh, and the fracture, uh, and we will go through the different modules of, of Abacus, okay? First of all, the first component of Abacus, let's say, is the viewer, the user interface. The user interface, we call it Abacus CAE or Abacus Viewer. It will allow the user to uh, design uh, some components or also to import some components designed with another uh, design software. Uh, it will allow the user to build his model from uh, from this geometry, so it will uh, give him the possibility to mesh, to apply the boundary conditions, to apply the loads, uh, and uh, also once the simulation is done, to post-process uh, results. So this is what we call pre- and post-processing tool of Abacus uh, software. Now, in terms of solver, Abacus is divided into two solvers and this is one of the uh, strength of abacus so we have the first uh, solver the, the the historical one let's say uh, it's uh, abacus implicit abacus implicit is dedicated to simulate uh, static and dynamic uh, structural events uh, and also it's uh, developed to simulate linear and non-linear behavior and this is very important because some simulation uh, software they only perform linear simulation but abacus it also allows linear uh, simulations uh, okay in terms of uh, of procedure we can perform natural frequency ec extraction we can perform static analysis we can perform dynamic analysis uh, collapse analysis and abacus implicit it's also famous for its capability to couple different uh, multi-physics procedure. So we can do both, for example, stress and thermal analysis. We can do thermal plus uh, electrical analysis. We can do uh, geomechanics plus pore pressure analysis. So coupling this different uh, fields is uh, is possible thanks to Abacus Implicit. And then later, the, uh, Abacus company have developed the other uh, solver, which is Abacus Explicit, less known in the uh, in the market, uh, but this Abacus Explicit have been developed in order to simulate high speed uh, impacts. Okay, uh, the, the 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 possibility to perform this high speed impacts with implicit solver is very limited. If it, it it's also uh, we can even say it's it's infeasible to model high speed like crash test of a car uh, because uh, the implicit method does not allow uh, to to perform this. So uh, Abacus company have the, developed this explicit uh, solver, uh, very dedicated for high speed impact. So it's it's uh, it's based on time integration. 
uh, method but this uh, solver can also be used to model uh, quasi-static phenomena uh, it's not high speed it's quasi-static completely different but thanks to some numerical uh, modification of the model uh, abacus explicit can also do this quasi-static analysis where the level of the deformation is very high where the level of contact uh, non-linearities is also very important now on top of this uh, abacus explicit also offer some extended capabilities uh, for example to model extreme deformation to model extreme deformation using the Lagrangian method of uh, finite elements so stress analysis the classical method what we call Lagrangian it becomes uh, very difficult to model extreme deformation and so uh, inside Abacus we have this coupled Ellerian Lagrangian method which allowed to model really extreme deformation material failure and so on another method is the SPA smooth, smoothed particle hydrodynamics and the DAM uh, method also all of them available in abacus explicit very quickly if we'd like to go through the diff the key differentiator of abacus uh, why abacus today is becoming uh, is not becoming <laughs> since a long time one of the leader uh, software in the market uh, this is thanks to his capabilities to deal with non-linearities, first of all. Uh, this is thanks to the possibility to have two solvers, the implicit and the explicit solver within the same software. Uh, it's, it's also very famous to uh, its capabilities to deal complex contact behavior uh, and also uh, the contact uh, capabilities, technical capabilities, functionalities. So we have uh, different behavior uh, in the frictional uh, level, but also uh, in the normal uh, direction. Uh, with the inclusion of the uh, general contact, the contact definition will really become uh, easy uh, to implement inside uh, complex uh, models. So Abacus is a software between other software available in the Simulia brand okay so this abacus software communicate very well with other software from the same brand uh, these other software are, are eyesight to perform uh, parametric optimization uh, tosca to perform shape optimization uh, fe safe to do fatigue this is the most famous three other software let's say to in the Simulia uh, brand the, the 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 engineers they they really need to use uh, abacus to do the simulation the fea simulation but they also need those other software to uh, explore other possibility of the design to do optimize the, the design for example or to do the fatigue analysis and so on uh, on top of this in the same simulia brand we have also other uh, extended software other new acquisition done by daso system we can mention uh, CST for electromagnetic simulation. We can mention XFlow and EXA for uh, high fidelity uh, fluid dynamics. High fidelity means this will really be uh, uh, using uh, Lattice Boltzmann uh, technique, uh, and, and, uh, and this will allow to to uh, to simulate a really complex CFD uh, phenomena. Now, using this Abacus license who custom, uh, that our customers are, are using, the same license will allow them to uh, use other uh, Sumulia uh, brand software. This same license will allow them to use iSight, to use Tosca and FeSafe, and from CAD import. So, with, this is what we call the extended package of Sumulia. So, within one license, you can use four software. Now we switch to some industry applications, and Milad will take you here. Okay, thanks, Amin. So, uh, in the following few slides, I will briefly go over a few success stories from DASA Systems clients, and I will relate it to examples from each one of them uh, to the relevant industries within our region. So, next, Amin. S sorry, it takes some time to switch. To, to okay. the connection, I think. Yeah, there. Okay, next one as well. So uh, we will begin with an aerospace and defense example. Uh, 
we will take one example uh, each from each one of the industries. Okay, so this is an aircraft company named uh, Aviation Aircraft, and they wanted to design an all-electric airplane for commuter distances that's uh, cost-effective and environmental friendly. Uh, so the solution to this was that they acquired the 3D experience platform on the cloud from Dassault Systems, and they included the integrated applications for creative design and simulation uh, of aerodynamic behavior. Now, this is done using the Simulia brand, and to be specific, using uh, software within the Simulia brand uh, named XFlow and PowerFlow for CFD, just like uh, Amin explained. And the key benefits out of this was that engineers came up with an optimum aerodynamic and mechanical system, and they provided a holistic design approach with a creative uh, 3D surfaces. Next is an example from a consumer and packaged goods and retail industry. Uh, the, the company named Amcor wanted to design plastic containers in a way to reduce the amount of material used within it, and while keeping them strong and cost-effective to produce. Now, using Abacus finite element analysis from Dassault Systems Simulia, designers were able to accurately simulate the real-world product, loading under a variety of conditions. The solutions was that the simulation of containers throughout the design process using Simulia tools helped the engineers identify the strain areas and the potential failure points, leading to a lightweight and optimized design where they focused on making those areas a little stronger. The key benefits is that the Amcor customers enjoy a lower production cost and less risk of product failure. Okay, next is an example from the industrial equipment. Uh, the company called the uh, CRA, they, they used to subcontract parts of its design process to specialists to perform this design process. And they wanted to acquire this skill in-house. And the solution was that the company chose Abacus solution from Simulia to analyze the structures of industrial boilers and heat recovery equipment and prevent product design mistakes prior to manufacturing. This led to an improved design by 12% and product production increase by 10% and it doubled capacity to address client needs, making the company one of the most competitive in the field worldwide. Next is a famous example and the historical user of uh, numerical simulation from the automotive industry, which is uh, BMW. Uh, BMW, uh, I mean, automakers overall today face the pressure to meet and exceed the ever-changing crashworthiness standards while responding to emissions, mileage requirements, new materials, new drive systems, like the move towards the electromobility recently to compete with the Tesla, for example. Some of you may have heard about the, the new BMW release two days ago on Tuesday, which is the fully electric BMW. Uh, now, how does BMW respond to these challenges directly? Uh, how they respond to it, of course, directly impacts their bottom line. And the solution was that BMW, long time ago, acquired Simulia, and they're closely working with the Simulia over the last uh, decade or so. BMW Group uh, R&D developed a simulation program based on the Abacus FEA that moved them towards a stated corporate goal of zero prototyping. Uh, now, on the bottom examples, right-hand side, uh, the top row is, uh, oh, go back, I mean, the top row is uh, the finite element model of the car, and you can see the almost the exact match between the simulation and the, the actual test that happened. Uh, this is, of course, done using Abacus Explicit for highly dynamic and nonlinear uh, crash simulations. Okay. Next is uh, an example from the construction industry. Uh, this is a company in uh, Poland, Zoni Veld, and uh, they wanted to, they usually I mean, design uh, structures and buildings, but since they build most of their structures in an area that's uh, active for earthquakes and uh, there's a poor soil condition, they require to do something to their buildings to make them stronger and immune to those earthquakes. So the solution was by using fin Abacus finite element analysis. Uh, they were able to simulate ground movement during earthquakes, and Zonneveld was able to design a novel solution that prevents structural damage during these events, while also making the building more soundproof. Buildings are subject to extreme lateral shear forces during their, those earthquakes. 
and Abacus helped the engineers to find the best structure possible to withstand those uh, specific earthquakes. Not only that, but Abacus helped Zone Field uh, find the best size and location for a double slider. Uh, I mean, this is used to isolate the upper structure from the, both the environmental sound and the earthquakes generated movement below. Uh, this small acquisition of the software, uh, specialty engineering team has become uh, more efficient, flexible, and better able to serve the customers, no matter how big the challenge is. Next is an example from the energy industry and the oil and gas sector. And uh, this is a very special industry within the region of the Middle East. And it's one of the industries where the realistic simulation can really bring concrete added value. This can be used in different levels in the design of components, structures, pipelines, and also in the integrity assessment of uh, assets like fitness for service as per API 579 and ASME codes to determine if the installation remains safe. And when a corrosion, for example, or any other defect is detected, uh, the challenge in ExxonMobil, they want to go further to strengthen their simulation toolkit to enable them to better address the challenges involved within the subsurface extraction of shale gas. The challenge with the long decades of working together with Simulia, they wanted to build their in-house simulation capabilities with support of Simulia technology. They worked closely with Oxen, uh, Simulia worked closely with ExxonMobil to develop the state-of-art general purpose material models, finite element technology, and the uh, computational procedures, including the CFD module and particle fluid dynamics, PFD aimed at identifying the solutions that could be applied within the field to extract the shale gas. This collaborative effort between ExxonMobil and Simulia led to a fundamental enhancement to the power of simulation to address key drilling, completion, and production challenges. Simulia's advanced simulation technology and 3D visualization are playing an increasingly vital role in the success of uh, the company at the moment. So at LaunchTech, we're currently working on different ongoing projects to evaluate assets integrity, and load carrying capacity of those equipment in the oil and gas industry in order to, deter, to, de, to determine whether those components are fit to service or fit to continue being in service or they need a remediation plan or a complete replacement at some point. So this is something that's, I mean, frequently done in uh, launch tech. Uh, next is an example in the marine and offshore industry. Uh, thanks to XFlow high fidelity simulations, and the new acquisition, it's a new acquisition within the Simulia brand. Uh, Sunreef Yachts, they, they, need to, they needed to simulate and optimize their engineering processes to accelerate the design and production of its boats. So they, what they did is they acquired XFlow from Dassault System Simulia brand to design and simulate the, those realistic uh, cases of uh, the boats. The key benefits of acquiring it was the high-performing simulation enabled engineers to rapidly explore nearly endless appealing hull designs possibilities and optimize it for better fuel efficiency, seaworthiness, and performance in different sea conditions. Okay, so this marks the end of the technical part of the presentation. I will now present to you briefly what services do we offer as LaunchTech. LaunchTech is a company based in uh, Abu Dhabi, UAE. We first offer Dassault System software distribution. This is, uh, of course, within the Simulia brand, including Abacus and all the other software for CFD. And we also do CST, uh, sell CFD, CST software for electroma electromagnetic simulations. Now, aside from selling the software, we offer technical consultancy for those uh, who would like to outsource their projects. We do engineering consultancy, we solve problems, we perform fitness for service, for example, any kind of numerical engineering uh, uh, service. Uh, we also offer technical trainings. These are to be delivered by certified trainers from Dassault System within LaunchTech. And uh, we also do certification exams based, uh, certifications based on an official exam, which we carry out within our offices in the Middle East. Uh, we also design vertical applications. So we usually have few cases from the industry where uh, customers would like to use the software, but in an easier user interface. So we customize user interfaces of software to satisfy client needs to make it easy for uh, new users to adapt to the practice of using finite element simulation. 
Now, finally, uh, I would just would like to update you about the schedule of 2020 for LaunchTech. This is a tentative webinar agenda for 2020. Feel free to take notes. Uh, we will be you will be receiving uh, invitations for each of the webinars with details regarding the content and registration. All of them are free to attend, and you will also I mean feel free to invite your colleagues and friends. Uh, should you wish to be part of a webinar which is on another specific topic other than the ones mentioned, please write to us and we will try our best to consider uh, adding those topics within the 2020 year. You can reach us, uh, next slide, I mean. You can reach us on contact at launchtech.ie. Uh, uh, myself and uh, Amin, we have direct access to this uh, email. Uh, now, just to summarize this uh, presentation, this was uh, the end of the webinar. And uh, I, I am aware that we did not directly target any industry or a specific case for the use of simulation portfolio in this ocean size of information. Uh, but this is because we wanted to satisfy as many of the end users' demands as possible. I mean, should you have to, or should you want to know more about a potential use of a specific industry related or an application related simulation, please email us at this contact email. Uh, we'll be happy to answer you, meet with you, and see what uh, what's the way forward to do these simulations. For the next few minutes, we're more than happy to take your questions. Please type your questions in the chat box, whether they're technical or general, uh, we'll be happy to respond to you immediately. This marks the end of the webinar and thank you for the interest and for listening to us. We will now answer any questions. Okay, we have one question from uh, Deepish Rajish, Rajiv. Uh, the question is, uh, can we do electromagnetic waves for electrical machines and drives? Yes, absolutely. This is uh, one of the simulations that can be done using CST software. Uh, what I will do, uh, Deepesh, is I will send you a list of uh, capabilities of the software and a few relevant examples to the electrical machines and the simulation of electromagnetic waves for those uh, drives. Do we have any other questions? Okay, so that's it. I would like to thank everyone again for the interest and for listening to us. Please feel free to drop us an email should you have any interest or questions. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.